Happy day to you all. This is an overview of the Session Messaging app and why those who care about internet privacy should consider using it. My name is Tim Sutinen. I'm the owner of Sutinen Consulting, which is an IT service company. I also own a website called privacyproshop.com where we sell privacy tech. You must be asking by now that why would I want an other messaging program? Most people suffer from messaging app overload already. Those are valid questions. And I believe Session has all the right answers for you. Let's start with the other guys first. Do you ever find it annoying that when someone who is in your address book joins Signal or joins Telegram, you get notified of that? so-and-so joined Telegram or so-and-so joined Signal. You signed up to use a messaging program, not yet another social media program for crying out loud. Also, most messaging programs want your email address or worse yet, your telephone number to be able to sign up. If those things annoy you, you should consider switching to session. And ultimately, Anyone who is concerned about privacy finds that all roads will lead to Session. Why? Because Session, it is the only app that checks every box when it comes to privacy and security. Session is anonymous, onion routed, end to end encrypted, decentralized. It's resistant to Sybil attacks it is open source software, its code base has been audited, and it minimizes metadata leakage. Let's examine these. Anonymous. Unlike most other messaging programs, Session doesn't ask you for your phone number, email address, or any other identifying information. It doesn't broadcast to the world that you've started using Session. It simply creates an account for you and assigns you a session ID, which is a random 66 character identifier. Then you start messaging. That's it. Onion routed. Session routes your messages through three servers via multiple layer encryption before the message reaches the other person you're communicating with. This guarantees your IP address will not be visible to the other party you're communicating with, or to anyone monitoring the communication. The name Onion Routing comes from the multi-layer encryption that reminded someone of Onion's layers. There is an exception to Onion Routing in Session. Session has just introduced peer-to-peer -peer voice and video calls. However, peer-to-peer -peer calls are not Onion Routed, so if you are in a dangerous situation, you should not use them as your IP address could potentially be exposed. Onion routed calls over Lokinet will be coming as soon as Lokinet integration into Session is complete. End-to-end -end encrypted. Session encrypts all messages, attachments, and voice and video calls so that you and only the person who you're communicating with know what is being said. Decentralized. Session is run by a network of computers called Oxen Service Nodes, which are located all around the world. An attack on a single entity or a network outage would not result in shutting down the service. The operators of the servers are incentivized to run them. They earn cryptocurrency named Oxen for their services. In contrast, almost all other messaging systems, such as Signal, Telegram and WhatsApp are highly centralized and a coordinated attack or a regional network outage can shut down the service for all users everywhere. Sybil attack resistance. In a Sybil attack, the attacking entity spins up a lot of computers that can gain a significant minority or an outright majority of a computing network resources and thus be able to control some part or all of the impacted network. A Sybil attack on session is going to be extremely difficult because each of the service nodes requires a significant investment, 15,000 Oxen coins currently, to be able to participate. 
Getting the millions of coins it would take to start the required number of service nodes to have an impact is impossible for all practical purposes. Open source software protects the longevity of the project when anyone can take the software and continue development if the foundation were to go under. It also allows individuals to examine the code and compile their own binaries for best security. Source code auditing. In order for software to be considered secure, the source code must be open and audited regularly. The most recent audit of session code was done by a French company called Quarks Lab in May of 2021, and the findings were addressed. Metadata leakage. Metadata in messaging apps are the information surrounding the messages. Phone numbers, IP addresses, dates and times, discussion lengths, contact information, and so forth. By knowing who's talking, when, where, how long, and who you have in your contacts, good guesses about the content of the discussions can be made by a third party, even if the content of the messages themselves is not visible due to encryption. Sessions use of anonymous account signup, onion routing, and a lack of contact integration make Session the best messenger for those who are concerned about privacy. Session is available for Android and iOS on the mobile side. For privacy phone users, Session also has an F-Droid repo. Desktop version of Session is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So, is everything just rosy in the Session land? Of course not. But Session can be your daily driver, especially now with the addition of peer-to-peer -peer calling. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Buy your own session name at privacyproshop.com with credit cards or crypto.